If you have a function that is only one line long and you will not need to use this function in other programs, you can create an anonymous function. An anonymous function is declared within the program where it will be used. And here's the general format of an anonymous function. We have the function name equal the at symbol, the list of inputs or arguments that will go into the function, and finally the function expression itself. Here's one example where we make an anonymous function called f1. And it has two arguments, x and y. And these arguments will be used to calculate 2 times x plus y. So we say x equals 1, y equals 2, w equals 4, t equals 5. We call up f1 and we pass the value of x, which is 1, into the first argument x in the anonymous function. So x in the anonymous function becomes 1. y has a value of 2 and this is passed into the second argument of f1 which is y. So x is 1, y is 2. So 2 times 1 plus 2 makes 4. And this is what is returned to the location of where f1 is called and stored in a. So a gets the value of 4 and when we display it on the screen, 4 will be displayed. We call up f1 a second time and now we're passing the values of w and t into x and y. So x gets the value of 4, y gets the value of 5. So 2 times 4 plus 5 makes 13 and this is what's returned to the location of where the function is called and stored in b. So b gets the value of 13 and then displayed on the screen. It's important to remember that just because the values of x and y in the anonymous function have the values of 4 and 5, that does not mean that x and y down here in the rest of the program have the values 4 and 5. They are still 1 and 2. If we displayed the value of x and y at any point in this program, it will be 1 and 2. So we call f1 one last time and we pass 2 into x and 7 into y. 2 times 2 plus 7 is 11. That is returned to the location of where the function is called and stored in C. So C gets the value of 11. Once you clear the workspace by using the clear command or closing MATLAB in Octave, the function f1 is no longer available for use. So I've made a program here called anon.m and we use an anonymous function in this program. We make an anonymous function called apple and apple has one argument, a. a will be squared and we'll add one to a and then we'll return it to the location where apple is called. So we have x which is a 1 by 3 array, y is a 2 by 2 array, w is a single value or a 1 by 1 array. So we are first going to call up apple of w. So the value of w is 3. That will be passed into a. So 3 squared plus 1 is 10. That will be returned to this location here where apple is called and displayed on the screen. So if we execute this code, we see that 10 is displayed on the screen. We now call apple a second time. And now we're passing a 1 by 3 array, which is what's stored in x, into a. So a becomes a 1 by 3 array. We square every value in this 1 by 3 array and add 1 to every value in this 1 by 3 array. So x has the values of 1, 2, 3. That's passed into a up here in the anonymous function apple. So a has the values of 1, 2, 3. So 1 squared plus 1 is 2. 2 squared plus 1 is 5, 3 squared plus 1 is 10, and that's what we see displayed on the screen. Lastly, we call up apple and we're passing y, a 2 by 2 array, into a. So y has the values of 1, 3 in the first row and 5, 7 in the second row. So we see 1 squared plus 1 is 2, 
3 squared plus 1 is 10. 5 squared plus 1 is 26. 7 squared plus 1 is 50. So the anonymous function here creates a 2 by 2 array, and this is passed back here at the location of where Apple is called. P has this 2 by 2 array stored in it, and then we display P. If we want, we can also say Apple of, let's say, 6. Because we've already created Apple and it's in our workspace. If we type whose, we can see that Apple is a function handle or a function name. If we now clear this function, we will get an error. So this first part of the code is executed fine, 10 and all these other values are printed off. Then we clear the workspace. I create another variable, w equals 3, and now I try to say apple of 3. But apple no longer is in the workspace, so we can't use it.